Hi guys, I wanted to start the series on, um, I was talking about people, women that don't like to wear makeup for different reasons or just kind of feel like it's a waste of time or, you know, all those reasons that women don't wear makeup. This is the first reason that women usually, usually, slow down, will say to me that they don't like to wear makeup or they just don't wear it is because they don't have time. Um, that's the first reason. The second reason I usually hear is because they don't like to look made up. They don't want to look like they're wearing, you know, a face full of makeup. Um, but they don't necessarily care for their face without makeup either. They don't really care for this feature or they don't like that on their that blemish on their face or their uneven skin tone or the fact that they don't look like they have very many eyelashes, you know, different things like that. They don't like that, but they don't also don't want to look like they're wearing a face full of makeup. So this kind of kills two birds with one stone. First of all, um, it's quick, so it, you can kind of fit it in there between changing a diaper or doing dishes or going out to work or whatever it is that you do every day that, you know, kind of creates the problem of not having enough time. And it also helps with the fact that it doesn't look all made up. You don't look like, you know, you're wearing a face full of makeup or that you're getting ready to go out to a party. It looks quite natural, yet it still kind of emphasizes your eyes. It covers up the blemishes, evens out your skin tone, um, and brings, you know, your best features forward, which is usually a woman's eyes. Um, some women have really nice lips. I don't particularly have those, um, though I like to pretend I do. Uh, you know, and things like that. So I'm just going to run through really fast what I've already done. What I already did was I put my foundation on. You don't have to wear foundation. You can wear a tinted moisturizer that will give you a little bit of coverage, you know, color to kind of even out your skin tone and cover up where you may have a blemish or two and maybe a little concealer if you have a really bad spot, you know, or if you have under eye circles. Um, you can use nothing if you have particularly good skin and you don't feel a problem with anything on your face. You like your skin, it's even, you're fine with it. Um, I particularly have bad skin. Uh, I haven't gotten up the nerve to show you that yet, but I have, yuck. Anyways, so I have to wear foundation and I like to wear a medium to full coverage. That's just me. You don't have to do that. So put on whatever you want to put on your face as far as foundation and covering up things goes. And if you want me to do a separate video on that, I can do that. And then, um, the only other thing that I did was what? Nothing. I did this eye and that's all. Oh, my eyebrows. Sorry, I did fill in my eyebrows. You want to make sure that if you have sparse eyebrows, if you have super light colored eyebrows where you can't hardly even see them, that you do fill them in. Um, they don't need to be a certain shape or whatever if you don't want to go through all that. They just need to be, get yourself a little brush like this, a little angled brush. It's thin. And some brow powder. This is NYC from Walmart, and it looks really bad. I know, I'm sorry, I use it every day. Uh, super cheap. I think it's a couple of dollars at Walmart. It comes in a few different colors. It, that other one there is a uh, brow wax to hold them in place. If you have perfectly fine eyebrows and they're all, you know, filled in, you don't have any blank spots or anything, you can just get yourself a little thing of eyebrow wax, dip the pencil in the, or the brush in there, and go over them just to hold them in place so they don't go all wonky on you. Um, so fill in your eyebrows, make sure you don't have any sparse spots. Um, you know, you can deal with your eyebrows when you have time, like tweezing them and shaping them and all that, if that is something that you want to do, or you can go have that done at a salon. So I put my foundation on, I did my eyebrows, and now I'll show you the only couple of few things I'm gonna do on my eyes. I'm gonna take a brush like this, you don't have to. You can use the sponge tip applicator that comes in the eyeshadow. Um, I did do this. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I put on an eyeshadow primer, and this is Urban Decay Primer Potion in the color Eden, and that just holds whatever eyeshadow you put in place. And it also will even out the, the tone on your eyelid because that skin's really thin and sometimes it tends to be red and veiny and all that. So I just even that out with that. And then I take a shadow that's about the same color as my skin. And this is Revlon's Matte Eyeshadow in the color Vintage Lace. Uh, number 001. It's pretty inexpensive. I think it's about between three and four dollars for one of these. Just get something that's real close to your natural skin tone because all you're trying to do is even that out. You know, even that color out. You just don't want it to be red and veiny and all that. Um, so I just dip my fluffy brush in there. Nothing spectacular and really just run it from the lashes to the brow. 
and sometimes I'll do that a couple of times. And as you can see, there really is no difference. It doesn't look any different to you. Um, probably a little more different to me because I'm in person, of course. And sometimes I'll even kind of run it underneath my eye just to uh, kind of erase any little wrinkly things under there. And that's all you have to do for eyeshadow. If you don't want to even do that, you don't have to. But I like to do that just to even everything out. Um, if you want to do something a little bit more on your eye, to give it a little bit more definition, you can take a brush like this. Again, you can take that sponge tip applicator if that works for you, or your finger, whatever works. I'm going to take a really super inexpensive Eyes, Lips, Face brand eyeshadow palette, got for $5 at Target at Christmas time, and I'm going to take that brown color right there. Just going to dip my brush in there, like that. Put it right in the socket, right where you can feel where your eyeball comes to your eyebrow bone and windshield wiper motion, run that back and forth. See a little bit of definition and contour. All that does is bring a little contour to your eyes and adds a little bit more shape and definition. Because really remember, you're just trying to bring your eyes forward, your best feature forward. You want to draw a little bit more attention to them. So I don't know if you can see the difference between this eye that has the brown shadow in there and this eye that does not. I didn't put anything in that crease at all looks just a little bit different, a little bit more defined and pronounced. Run that back and forth, you're done. If you can do more if you want, it's up to you. And then take a, just a simple eyeliner. I like to use black because again, I'm trying to draw definition to my lash line. Um, a black eyeliner, the way I'm gonna show you to put it on, will look make your eyelashes look thicker at the base. Um, and again, just give some definition to that lash line and really draw your eyes forward. I think you can see the difference between this eye that doesn't have anything on the lash line and this eye that does. Um, so this is just a super inexpensive, I think I got it for $1.50 or something, at Ulta. It's called Outlast Smooth Wear and it's just in the color Onyx. And it's a retractable, soft pencil like that and that's what you want. You can get these in, Revlon sells them, L'Oreal sells them, CoverGirl I believe, I think every drugstore uh, makeup brand sells these. It's just a retractable soft pencil eyeliner. And then this looks really gross. It does not hurt at all and once you get used to it it doesn't even feel like anything. I put it right there on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see. I'll lift this up and really gross you out. <laughs> put it right up in that water line right there. So I just do this. I put it there, I close my eye, and I run it back and forth a couple of times. I don't know if you can see the difference or not, but I can. So I just run it back and forth there. And then what I did on this eye, you don't have to do. If you don't want to do anything else, you can just leave your liner just like that, just enough to kind of give some definition there, and go on and finish your eyes. But I ran it, started um, at the outer corner, and ran it as close to my eyelash as I possibly could. Because, again, I just want to define that and draw it out. can be messy, doesn't have to be perfect. And then draw it just a little bit past the corner of your eye there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I just kind of went a little bit past the actual natural corner of my eye just to draw my eyes out that way just a little bit. Uh-huh, one's darker than the other. All right, and I'm done with eyeliner. And then I'm gonna curl my lashes. Get yourself a little uh, eyelash curler. This one is by, sorry, it's covered up with uh, makeup. <laughs> This one is by Sephora, but it was just something that I picked up when I was there once. You don't need a Sephora brand anything. <laughs> you can get a Revlon one. Um, again, a lot of brands make them, and they're just very inexpensive. Just make sure that this corner right here and that corner right there are not open, and that that uh, rubber piece right there goes all the way across, because the ones that are open, to me, they pinch, and they pull my eyelashes out on the corners, and I don't like that. So just grab your lashes as close to the base as you can. Give them a good squeeze. Two, three, four, five, you're done. You can do it again closer to the tips if you want to go through all that. If you don't, you're done. Um, I like to run my eyeliner back over that again. I guess you could, well, yes you could. You could 
curl your lashes and then do your liner. I just kind of like to layer it. It lasts a little longer to me, but you don't have to do that. And then get your favorite black mascara. Um, I like L'Oreal Voluminous in Carbon Black. I like a good black mascara because, again, like I said, I'm just trying to draw that lash line darker and bring it forward to give some definition to my eyes. Run your mascara through your lashes. I know you all know how to put on mascara. If you don't, this is how you do it. <laughs> just kind of run it from the root to the tip, wiggling it back and forth to make sure there's no clumping. I've got some wonky lashes right there. I don't know what they're doing. They're kind of driving me crazy. There. And then do your bottom lashes. If you have a hard time with bottom eyelash mascara smearing, skip it. You don't necessarily need it. Uh, Clinique is making a new bottom lash mascara that's apparently working really well for people who have smearing problems under there. Um, it's a little tiny brush, like maybe a quarter of this size of this brush, the tip of it, and it just goes right on those bottom eyelashes, and apparently it's some kind of um, good formula that doesn't smear. So you could check into that if you want to do that. And then you're done with your eyes. You know, you put on a little bit of eyeshadow, a little bit of eyeliner, and some mascara, and you're done. Period. You don't even have to do all that. You can do a little bit of eyeliner and mascara. No eyeshadow at all. Um, it just depends on what you have time to do and what you feel like doing and what you like. It, you could use a brown eyeliner. Um, it's up to you. If you're a super blonde, very pale skinned person, you can use a dark brown eyeliner. You just want to bring definition. And then all I'm going to do on my face for right now is use this uh, Laura Geller Blush and Brighten Pink Grapefruit Blush. And what that is, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Kind of hold it like this. It's got a little bit of shine running through it like a shimmer not a sparkle a shimmer like a shiny thing and then the rest of it is just a blush a real pretty blush um, for me this is naturally the color that I blush if I blush in my cheeks and that's what you want to look for something that's your natural color that you go when you do blush um, and I'm just gonna swirl my brush in there tap it off to get the excess off and I'm gonna take it right underneath my iris right there I know that's gonna sound ridiculous but when I put it on you'll see what I mean and I'm just going to swirl a little bit of that on. And the reason why I like this is because it's just a natural color blush. And it has a little tiny bit of shimmer in there. A little bit, tiny bit of shine in there. To bring um, some, a little bit of dewiness to the skin. You guys probably can't see it. I am getting a new camera, by the way. It's on the way. I'm very excited about that. <laughs> and I'll be in HD. Anyway, so it brings a little bit of color to the cheeks so that you don't look washed out and all pale, you know. Um, and it brings a little tiny bit of dewiness right there where you want it, you know. So just kind of rub that back and forth. You can put a little bit here on your temples to give a little definition there. Run it down the nose, chin. If that's too much blush for you, take your powder and powder your face. That's entirely up to you. Um, I do feel like I got a little too much on over here. Anyway. And get, I like to do these tinted lip balms for just an everyday kind of a natural look. Uh, if you don't want to wear lipstick, you just want to have something on your lips so they don't look like they're just not on your face. You know, you want to bring them forward, but not with a big, bold lipstick. This one is called uh, Soft Lips Pearl. And I don't think it has an actual color. That might be the color. That's all it says. Yeah. Anyways, it's just by Soft Lips. Get it at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, any of those drugstores. I don't know why I can't get the lid off. Because I'm pulling the wrong end. <laughs> Anyways, it just looks like that. It's a very natural, for me, as you can see I've been using it a lot, um, lip color. You can get one by CoverGirl called Lip Slicks. And again, you just want to get one that's kind of your natural lip color. This one is a little deeper than my normal lip color, but when you put it on, it doesn't look that way because it's just a tinted lip balm. It's not a lipstick. And this one is in the color, uh-huh, Bronze Goddess. And then I've also got this Sonia Kashuk one that doubles as a lip liner and a lip uh, pencil, all, kind of lipstick all in one. This one looks a lot more serious and severe, like a lipstick, but it's really not. I'll put that one on and show you. 
So you could sharpen this and line your lips with it if you wanted. This is kind of like a lip crayon. Sorry, hard to talk when you're doing that. So it is a little bit darker than the uh, tinted lip balms, but it's not a big bright bold lipstick in your face and it's kind of my natural color. And especially when that wears a little bit, I'll blot it and kind of When it wears a little bit, it just kind of looks like my natural lip color, only a little bit more bold to kind of bring it out from my face because I've got um, face makeup on and I don't want to look all one color and uniform and washed out. I just put a little bit of lip balm over the top of it and go on with life. I'm done. So you can do it quickly. You can do just a few things. You can do 25 million things. It's up to you. But for those women who say I don't have time or I don't like to look like I'm wearing a face full of makeup, I just don't think it looks natural, but I like, I'd like to bring my features forward a little bit more, that works really well. Something on the face to make it an even skin tone, get rid of the blemishes, whatever it is that you like to use. I can do a separate video if you like. Just leave me a comment below. Um, fill in your eyebrows to make sure that they don't look sparse or that they're so pale you can't see them on your face because then it, there's nothing to frame your eyes. A uh, little bit of something on the lash line to make sure that that brings forward and doesn't get lost in your face. A little bit of something on the eyelid to, um, you know, tone down the red and cover up the veins and whatever might be on your eyelid. If you want, you can contour in there just to kind of bring a little definition to that crease of your eye. Especially if you don't have one, you can kind of fake one that way. Um, mascara. A little bit of uh, natural color blush on your cheeks to make sure that you don't look washed out in one color. Something natural on the lips. Um, again, just to bring it forward. And you're completely done. So hopefully that was helpful to some of you. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have anything specific that you would like for me to go over. Any of the products that I used or anything like that. Um, the brushes I used were MAC brushes. This is a 217. Again, you do not need brushes for this. Um, the other one that I used is a MAC 224, just a real super fluffy brush, and I just used that to go all over with the, the pale bone color. This one's more kind of like a, you know, contouring. You can blend with this brush. You can do everything with that brush. All right. Well, if you have any questions, like I said, just let me know, and I hope you guys have a great day. I really appreciate you stopping by and watching my videos, and hopefully that was helpful to at least some of you. Thanks.